bigger, bigger piece of clay slightly. I'm not going to take a lot of time with the centering, just to know that your body weight is key. Oops. And that it's a matter of the shift of the hand. All right, so it looks almost the same when you're going up and down. It's a matter of the angle of the uh, wrist. Jan, I do want to show you rims. So when I get there, I'll call you over, okay? Okay, so I'm going, I'm going to make something tall. This is not a bowl. This is going to be a vase-ish thing or maybe a pitcher. No, a vase. Okay, flat on the bottom. Nice and wet. Different hand position for tall. Don't listen to this. Okay. <laughs> That's for beginners. <laughs> Look away. <laughs> All right. So for bigger things, I use the knuckle of my hand, and it's not again. It's not a pulling. It's a leaning in. So I grab on with my left hand. I put my knuck, my right knuckle over it, and my first pull is really getting very conical. Yeah. So it's a lot thicker down at the bottom. And are you are you gonna watch this tall thing? I want to show you. I was thinking about what makes it difficult to get it tall. So right now it's thinner here, a lot thicker down here. I'm gonna get right on that and stay on it until I get a certain thick thinness and then I'm going to bring it up. And that certain thinness has to do with it matching what's above it, right? So what I'm talking about is that my, my index finger can feel the thinner area that my um, bottom fingers can't feel yet because it's not there yet. You don't have to think that through. I just want you to get that really you stay down here at the bottom until you've got that weight squuzz. That's a technical term. <laughs> that little squuzz that's coming up? Well, that's not so much squeeze as, as a... Ah! Oh! <laughs> blooper! We got a blooper! Cut. 